Outside of Disney's headquarters, supporters of Florida's governor flew flags with his name on it alongside Nazi flags. Oh my gosh. Ron DeSantis has signaled he is cozying up to this crowd. One Nazi, uh, as you guys maybe have seen as the car sped past, was had a poster with Ron DeSantis' face on it. Right power. Right power. We're live. Six million viewers. In January of 2022, there was another display from Nazis in Florida, specifically Orlando. The only initial response from Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis, was this tweet from his press secretary saying, quote, do we even know if they are Nazis? Yeah, yeah, they volunteered that they are. That tweet came from this woman, Christina Pushaw who had to register as a foreign agent and previously worked for the Koch brothers. She serves as DeSantis's press secretary. When asked about the display in Orlando, DeSantis said this. These people, uh, these Democrats who are trying to use this as some type of political issue to try to smear me. As he claims he was being smeared and did not come out vehemently against the display. Locally in Florida, the Miami Heat's Udonis Haslam, who just completed his 20th year in the NBA, is taking a stand. Haslam knows the area well. He grew up in Miami, went to high school in Miami, attended the University of Florida, and did not play a second outside the Miami Heat organization professionally. Nationally, he's well respected in the sport. Haslam has finally said enough is enough. Everybody ain't down with what's going on in Florida. People think that because you live in Florida, like you just down with the blank. We're not. I'm not down with it. I'm not happy about it. I happen to live there and I was born there. It's not my fault. So please stop Florida shaming us people. We're not happy about what this man DeSantis is doing diversity and inclusion and taking the books away. We're not happy about that. I sit at home on the couch with my wife and raise hell. Haslam is referring to the amount of books the Ron DeSantis administration has banned in the state. The Miami New Times reported the number jumped to 350. Recent reports indicated as high as 500. Of course, it didn't stop at books. AP African American Studies, the teaching that LGBTQ plus people simply exist, and TikTok on phones have been targets of Christina Pushaw and Ron DeSantis. That's not to say it has not come at a price. Publisher Penguin Random House filed a lawsuit alleging one school district in the state violated their First Amendment rights by scrubbing library shelves of books based on a political or ideological disagreement with the ideas the books express. They also cited the 14th Amendment in the suit. Haslam sees all of this and replies with logic. You complain about what's being taught in school, but we took away the gun law where you can buy a blank assault rifle at 18, Haslam said. I'm confused about what the priorities are. We're talking education and in the midst of all of this gun violence going on around the world, how about we just drop the gun laws and make it easier for them to get guns? The blank is confusing me. That's why I'm not a politician. You know what's sad is preparing for this piece. I had to Google USA mass shooting tracker to give everyone an update because it is so incredibly frequent in this country. Thus far in 2023, there have been 340 mass shootings. MST defines a mass shooting as four plus people being killed via gun violence. As we have shown many times over, this is an American problem and only an American problem. Haslam has made it his duty to partner with rehabilitation facilities and also advocate for medical marijuana. You should not be getting locked up for marijuana no more, he said. Get your marijuana card, brothers. Don't let them pull you over or take you to jail for weed. We should not be going to jail for weed no more, black man. Stop that. I'm a part of letting people know what's really out here. 
and also providing jobs. I understand you're a second time offender. You might have made a mistake. I will help you get a job because I know they're not looking for you out there. It's hard for brothers to get jobs who have made mistakes. They're not bad people. They've just made bad choices early on. Some people sit around and say things, but I'm actually doing things, providing jobs. I'm giving opportunities. I'm educating people.